Hi, everybody. It's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing? It has been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I have made a video. And that is because of all the things that have gone on in my life. And if you've been following me at all, like if you watched my last video, you know what's been happening. And if you followed my community posts, then you also know what's been going on. And I'm not really going to talk about that in this video, but that is the reason that I've been away for some time because I've really just been trying to get myself together, you all. But as we go forward into the month of June, I'm feeling quite op optimistic. There's been a lot of things happening in my spirituality. I'll probably make a second video about that if you're into it. But this video is just for all of us to see what's coming up for the month of June 2021. June 2021. So this, uh, I often say, if you catch this video, you know, three years from now, it still applies and it, and it does, unless we're putting a time constra uh, constraint on it. And so in this video, we are putting a, a time constraint on this. This reading is just for June, 2021, what's coming up for us. Or if you're watching this in June, 2021, like what's the energy around you now? I'm going to put in the description uh, time stamps for the different things. Like I'm going to explain how we're going to do this reading. I'm going to explain when we're going to be showing cards. I'm going to give you a time, uh, time stamp for when I reveal the cards. So if you want to skip ahead, I totally get it. You can do that. Um, just check those time stamps in the description and go for it. Let's start with a uh, explanation of how we're going to do this. I like to do these readings for folks who also want to engage their own intuitive abilities. By the way, each and every one of us has intuitive abilities. We came into this world stacked, stacked. We had a whole toolbox, let me tell you, with all the gifts and all the talents. It's just that some of us don't believe this and some of us have fallen out of alignment with this. But I'm here to jostle you and just tell you, hey, you're a magical human. Get with the program. You are intuitive. And so during this reading, I'm going to be holding up four different cards. And what you're going to be doing is checking your own response to this. When you see card number one, how does that make you feel? Do any of your psychic senses come online? For example, your clairvoyance. Are you seeing something in your mind's eye? Your clairaudience. Are you hearing something, maybe an inner word that is telling you which card to select? Are you clairsentient? Are you feeling it like in your body and in your emotionality? giving you the answer as to which card is for you? Or is this claircognizant, just a spontaneous knowing, like you know which card is for you, you don't know why you know, but you know that you know. Those are your psychic abilities, well, just some of them. And I want you to be paying attention to this as I'm showing you the cards, because I want you to partner with the process of this reading, heads up. The more we lean into our communication and relationship with spirit, the more dynamic it becomes. It's not just about some lady on the internet giving you all the info. No, I want you to come and get this info for you. Do you understand? So that's how it's going to work. You're going to be checking your intuitive responses as I'm showing you these cards. I'm going to show you four cards in a row. I'm going to spend some time on each card. You're going to connect with it. And then I am going to show them to you again pretty quickly just to give you one last glance. And then I'm going to have you comment below which card you're selecting. Again, this is your participation in the process. Comment below which one you're selecting before you even see it, okay? And then I will reveal the cards to you. Again, all of this is in the timestamps. I will say that I'm using one of my favorite decks, Ega, which is Sacred Symbols. You know, you see me doing this one a lot. This has been created by Marcella Kroll, and I believe she's just come out with a new version of this, which looks really, really good. I might want to get that one too, but I'm using Sacred Symbols, and this is just a great deck for me personally because it allows me to connect with the message coming through and then give even more intuitive stuff, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> Let's get into it. Starting with the cards. I'm going to hold them up one at a time and you are going to connect and then select. Starting with card number one. Card number one. Next, card number two. Card number two. Next, card number three. Card number three. 
Next. Card number four. Card number four. Now, what are you feeling? Which one are you being drawn to? You will notice that you are being drawn to at least one card strongly, but you might be drawn to more than one card. But notice which one has the stronger pull because the stronger pulling card is the primary card. And if you have a secondary attraction to another card, that's the complementary card, meaning it's meant to flesh out the primary reading. So just notice how you're feeling, which card is coming through. And if it's more than one, which one is stronger? I'm going to show them to you again very quickly. Card number one. Card number two. Card number three. And card number four. All right, next, as I said, what I'd like you to do is to drop down into the comments before the reveal and tell me which card you're picking, which card resonated with you. And you know what I, I would love to hear as well is how did you get it? I ask all my students this, okay, I hear the information, but how did you get it? Because when you can identify how spirit primarily speaks to you, then you can pay attention to that going forward and see what's coming through those faculties so you could have that deeper, more dynamic relationship with spirit. So how did you get it? Did you get it clairvoyantly? Did you hear it? Did you feel it? Did you just know it? Tell me which card you selected and how you got it in the comments below. Okay, now for the reveal. This is a reading to provide us information on the energy entering into our lives in the month of June. This is temporary energy. This energy is being offered for our crystallization and our activation. There's nothing bad in this reading. It's all good. It's meant for your edification. And so only you can avail yourself of what's being offered in June. Only you can make that choice. Those of you who selected card number one, card number one, you selected wealth. Now, don't get crazy. It's not like you're going to get a huge inheritance or a dispensation of money beyond your wildest dreams. Although maybe, maybe this is more about the well-being of your money. So maybe you've had some concerns of late around money. Is there going to be enough money for a certain thing? Or maybe you're just kind of waiting for whatever it is you're working on to click in and start bringing in the resources to include finances, monetary resources. This is a message of monetary well-being, like you're okay financially. And doesn't that feel good? I mean, no matter how spiritual we are, we got to reckon with the fact that we live on planet Earth and we need money and we need currency in order to gain access to certain experiences like eating and having a house and having clothes and also being able to go places and meet people and work in certain projects and fulfill our purpose. We need currency for that. And so spirit felt that now is the time to let you know that your finances are good or are going to be good. There's a trend here in the month of June for your money to be good. Maybe you are thinking about making a decision in the month of June that might add to your money. Here we go. This might be the sign that you should do that. It's good vibes in terms of your wealth. And also, this card also tells me and Spirit's telling me, don't, for, don't just count your money. Don't just count your coins and your dollar bills. Remember to look around you. This world moves so quickly, doesn't it? It moves so quickly and we get caught up in so many different things like social media and what's happening in the news and politics and other people. And we barely have time to look down and say, oh my gosh, I've got my dog here. I'm, I'm living in my house and I'm comfortable and I'm married to a beautiful person and I've got children and I'm safe right now, here and now. You know what? I'm safe. It may not be ideal, but I'm safe and I'm counting those blessings because gratitude, gratitude is a powerful manifester. And if we stay in the frequency of gratitude, we continue to manifest evidences in our life that keep us grateful. So wealth, just it's not just about money. It's about your blessings. So take time to count those and you'll be happier generally. June, this is your month, money people. All right. 
Moving on now to card number two. Those of you who selected card number two, you selected shadow, and I feel you. <laughs> Can I just say, I feel you because this pertains to me. This pertains to me too. Now, when we see shadow, we're like, oh my God, is that a ghost? That looks scary. I don't want shadow, but no, 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 no. Shadow equals transmutation. When we're not afraid of our shadow and our process of working with shadow, and indeed, when we lean into that process of working with shadow, we transmute that shadow energy and we call in the light. The more light we have in our bodies, the more light we have in our minds and our spirit and our life, the higher in frequency we are. The higher in frequency we are, the more proximate we are to God. And when we are God magnetic in this way, our whole life changes. Our whole life, we manifest at a masterful level word. But we can't get there, see, until we're willing to deal with our shadow. What's your shadow? Your shadow is your limiting beliefs, which probably are popping up, boiling to the surface in your life. And these beliefs or these patterns are showing up as triggered responses, anger, reactions, and judgments that you don't want to have. But that's just the body and the system's way of showing you, hey, you got some patterns here. You've got some beliefs here that you need to deal with. You don't have to immerse yourself in the pattern and the shadow. You just got to be cognizant of it. You've got to go into it. But when you go into the shadow, the pattern, the belief, the experience, the trauma, and the pain, when you go into it, you bring the light with you. And the light shines into the darkness. And the darkness cannot even comprehend it. That's how you deal with your shadow. That's how you transmute it. You go into the shadow as an envoy of the light. You bring it with you, and that light burns the shadow, recalibrating everything. This card means that for June, you are being called to work with the shadow. And my intuitive sense is that there are many of us on the precipice of breakthrough. Like when we clear space by clearing shadow and patterns in our life, we create space for spirit to come in and start to bless us. Not only does it raise our frequency, which means we're closer to God and now we're living in the vibration of that, but it also allows us to manifest from that frequency. We call in good things to our life. So I'm feeling like a lot of us are on the precipice. We've just got a few things we have to be brave and courageous enough to look at and then drop down into using the heart. Take your heart with you. We love the you that you were when that trauma happened and changed you. We love the you that you were when that false belief was instilled into you by somebody else or maybe by you. We love the you that you were because at the time, that's what it was. And spirit was present just as spirit is present now. So with love, we drop down into the shadow spaces. Do you understand what I'm saying? With love, we drop into these shadow spaces and we bring the light and we clear them. And now we're cooking with gas. Now we're going into summer, a new creation, new frequency. What do you want to manifest? This is the bridge to that. And that's good news. And I'm right there with you, as I said. We'll talk about that in another video. Okay? Now, moving on to card number three. Card number three is blessings, blessings. Now, whereas wealth was kind of centered around currency and finances and money, blessings, it's more about serendipity and gifts and things being offered, especially by the world of spirit. And one thing I want to say about this is that spirit is always offering blessings to the people of spirit. Always, always, always. But again, because we are locked into our lives and our reactions and the, the things that we're paying attention to, we often miss what is offered. But for you, the person who selected card number three, I want you to pay attention this month. Pay attention in the month of June because Spirit's going to be offering you specific blessings. I don't know what they are. I don't know why they are, but they're coming to you. Now, the thing about gifts and being offered gifts and blessings is that we must accept them, right? 
We must receive them and say yes to them. How can we do this, though, if we're not paying attention? There's something coming for you this month that is a gift. And you've got to be paying attention so you can say yes to it. And when you say yes to it, you activate an energy. You activate a frequency. When I say activate, I mean you download it into the being of who you are, bringing the principle of the blessing into the system of who you are. And once it's inside of you, it can be outpictured, meaning it can be in your external world as well. But you've got to say yes. And I don't know what this is, but it feels like it feels like uh, another sort of breakthrough or something being offered by spirit that might even seem small, but it turns out to be really, really important. Maybe a person meeting a person, maybe saying yes to a project, maybe having an awareness, and this is, this is important, having an awareness about something and getting really clear about something and accepting it. Now, this could actually be my marriage is not working, or this living arrangement is not working, or this job is not working, or I'm getting really clear that I want to move to this place and do this thing. I'm clear about that and I accept it. See, that in and of itself is a download. And when we take that acceptance and awareness into ourselves, it can begin to outpicture or become our reality. So don't just think of gifts, blessings, things people are giving to you. No, the things of spirit are always higher than that. They are gifts of peace and love and abundance and wellness, access to all of these things, prosperity. Those are the gifts of God. So you got some coming this month, those of you who selected card number three, and I want you to be paying attention, please, because you've got to say yes in order to get it. Last but not least, last but not least, for those of you who selected card number four. Card number four, you selected the pyramid. You cosmonaut, you psychonaut, not that you're psycho, but you're psychic. You are a spiritual adventurer. And probably in the last six months to a year, you've been noticing synchronicities and serendipities and little signs in the periphery of your life that are showing you, hey, I'm way more connected to the world of spirit and what's happening around me than I ever thought before. Hey, I might be intuitive or, Hey, I can trust my gut or, Hey, I have these awarenesses about things. This is also for the people who are the dreamers, meaning you've got vivid dreams. You have visitations coming through in your dreams, or if you meditate, you've got visitation and energy coming in, in your dreams, and especially in the month of June. So for my cosmonauts out there, cosmic knots, because I think a cosmonaut is a Russian astronaut, and that's not what you are, I don't think, <laughs> but you're a, you're a psychonaut. For those of you who picked this card in the month of June you will be invited into higher frequency interactions with the world of spirit. And what God is showing me is that we're, we're talking about actual grids of consciousness. Check it out. Frequencies and vibrations occur at different levels. And when we hit a higher frequency, higher being subjective, because of course there is no linear hierarchy in the world of vibration or spirit, but when we hit that higher or closer to God frequency, we're actually accessing a grid of consciousness. Maybe we are existing on 3D frequency and vibration, but through our own awareness and our own disciplines, we are able to pop up into 5D frequency. And when we hit 5D, we have access to so many other beings and so many other gifts and so many other awarenesses than we ever had in 3D because it's an actual level. So I say all this to you to say that in the month of June, you will be invited into partnership and relationship with beings from these different frequencies or consciousness grids. They may show up in your dreams. They may show up in your knowing. But if you are paying attention, they're saying, if you are paying attention, you will not miss them. And for all of you over-intellectualizing souls out there, I know who you are. Those folks who see a spiritual evidence and then dismiss it as being their imagination and that's just made up. I probably didn't happen. I'm going to ask you through the month of June, don't do that. Don't just dismiss 
patterns, synchronicities, numbers, people, messages, words, dreams, knowings, awarenesses, because they're showing us that in the month of June, these are important for you. And they actually give you access to higher frequencies of consciousness. So you're, you're intuitive, my friend. You're psychic. You have access to your divine emissaries. And in the month of June, you're going to feel that. You're going to know that. And I'm excited for you. That's card number four. That's card number four. To recap quickly, because I know I went into each card and gave a little mini reading. Card number one, wealth. Count your blessings. Also, there's good financial wellness, currency wellness in the month of June. And I want you to be checking for it. And just like the blessings card, I want you to say yes to it. Okay? Card number two, shadow. Shadow work is pivotal. We're only called to work with the shadow when we are ready to hit a higher level, when we are ready to transmute and to fine tune to that higher God frequency. Deal with your stuff, my friend. I'm dealing with my stuff too. Let's do it together. Card number three, blessings, gifts to be offered. This doesn't necessarily mean things. It can be awareness. It can be friendships. It can be many different things. But if we don't notice it, we can't say yes to it. And we must say yes to it in order to receive it. Last but not least, my cosmic knots, my psycho knots. Spirit is saying, we want to get with you. We want to talk with you. We want to have a relationship with you. So please pay attention as spirit enters in and gives you that invitation. And if it feels good to you, say yes. There you have it. This four card Oracle card reading for the month of June, 2021. And I know we have been all through a lot in 2020 and I haven't been much, uh, I haven't been present much in 2021 due to my own stuff. I will make a video about that, but I feel summer's a good time. I feel like there's some cool energy on the planet. Remember, my friends, that it's not about what the system is showing you. It's about what you're paying attention to. You create your reality as above, so below, and as within, so without. This is the law and the prophets. This is the universal law. And so if on the inside, you're being joy and kindness and tolerance and acceptance and abundance and prosperity and wellness, then there, then the universe must outpicture this for you. It starts and it ends with you. And I feel like a lot of us understand that. And so if we apply it starting right now, as we enter into this summer at the end of June, anything is possible. All things are possible for those who love source energy, creator energy, God energy. Do you love God? Say, yes, I do. Do I love source? Absolutely, I do. And I receive the blessing from God. And on that note, it's been so good to spend time with you guys. I love you so much. My heart is always here with you. And thank you for hanging in during this video. And I hope to get more videos out to you. But until then, never, not ever forget that I have got nothing but love for you. Sunshine too. Bye, guys.